One year ago, these 22 young hopefuls won a place at Toy Fakari, New Zealand's most prestigious drama school. It's been their chance to pursue their dreams, and it's challenged them in ways they never imagined. I am not mad. I am not mad. At the end of their first year, they're about to find out if they've measured up. It's the end of the year, and I've made it. That's... I can't believe it. It's been an interesting year. There's been highs, there's been a few, a few lows. <laughs> I feel like I've aged 15 years. Nothing can prepare you for the discoveries you make about yourself while you're here. Nothing. I love watching them go on that journey, and the biggest journey is from the beginning to the end of that first year, because they start off as one person, and by the end of the year, they've discovered this amazing other person that is inside them. She's honest, she's straightforward, and she's high principled. That's in my opinion. Byron auditioned for drama school, determined to make it as a serious actor. I would love to be the next Al Pacino. But from the start, it was his gift for comedy that really shone through. Diarrhea sounds like Maria. Wonderful day. If you're in class and you're feeling like, oh, I'm going to cry, I'm, I hate my life, and you look at Byron and you're like, funny. <laughs> you know, this year we've all been sort of scraping away all these layers, and with Byron, I think it took a little bit longer. He was a little bit tougher about it. Byron resisted like a little rock for the first half of the year, so strong, you know. Island. But eventually Byron did go deeper. What are you feeling for feelings? And I never thought he'd ever cry in class. And it was just like that moment he did, everyone was just glued. Just like, wow, Byron. And I, I saw him that day really leading, learning all this new stuff. It must not die. And in his end of year assessment, the tutors think he's well on the way to becoming a powerful actor. I'm so proud of you, having watched you on that journey, to see the work that you achieved. There's nothing you can't do. Mm -hmm. So you better just get in there and realise it. I'm happy. All I've got to look forward to now is going home and sitting out in the sun with a beer saying I've completed my first year at Toyfa Curry. Well, high school was a pretty um, crummy place for me. Colleen had some very clear aims when she auditioned for Toyfa Curry. I want to be two things, rough around the edges, rough, and I want to be just simple and uncluttered in myself as much as I can. The thing really, I really remember is when she was at Recall and she was so upset and she was crying all the time. And, and I thought, oh no, oh, she'll, she'll never make it. When I saw the list of names, so yeah, and then Colleen, what, the girl who cried got it? Jesus. But at the mid-year assessments, Colleen's future at drama school was thrown into doubt. I'm kind of falling apart over that at the moment. Whether I should be here or somewhere else doing something else. I don't want any more of this bloody angst out of you. But the tutors pushed Colleen to shake off her doubts. It's pretty clear at the end of the year that she's a really talented actress and that she should be here. Plain and simple, she is now a better actress. She can be a force to be reckoned with, I think. Oh, I'm just so happy now, and, and I really feel like, like I'm doing what I want to be doing. At the end of the first year, the tutors think she's a real talent, but she still needs to work on her attitude. Watching you is fantastic. Watching you in Classic Cuts was fantastic. Watching you in Delicates was fantastic. It was a great experience. Working with you was hard. Was hard work. Yeah. I feel quite ashamed as well of being just the kind of person I hate. <laughs> but at the same time, like, now I know, so, oh God, now I know, so I can do something different. For about eight years, my best friend and I were the Spice Girls. Sophie came to drama school with childhood dreams of fame and fortune. She literally never did anything else with our time, and I have no memories of being drunk in a park at 14, because at 14, I was in my bedroom being interviewed for 60 minutes. She, yeah, she was always just so, you know, um, cutesy pie pink pants, as Tom once put it. I wear a lot of pink, and I talk a lot, in a high-pitched voice, and I giggle. And, you know, and, 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 you know, or whatever. She was perceived as kind of being a bit all over the show. She's been determined to grab her share of the limelight. Shall we do a run-through? Cool. Hey. 
But her love of life has sometimes landed her in trouble. Uh, you know, I'm pissed off at many levels. That is one day that you just don't miss. Yeah. When she was out all night and unable to be <laughs> there at rehearsal, you know. Of course that's, that's uh, an absolute no-go area for an actor. You've got to be there. Yeah, she's done a little bit of growing up since, um, since her telling off. <laughs> the tenth part Sophie's of tried to prove herself again. Those that have the voices of lions and the act of hares. I, I think Sophie's so talented. When she starts performing, you just see this whole new Sophie come out. But at the end of the year, the tutors make it clear she's still got her work cut out. You've got a real actor in you, but we're saying get with the program. Yeah. Take care of yourself. If you get more sleep, if you eat better, if you um, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You can be as talented as you like, but if you're not healthy, you're not there. Because I have very, very, very strong concerns that you actually make it through the pressures of next year. Next year is more than this year, not less. And you've only just handled this year. She's only 20 or something, so for her, it's just a, um, it's just a thing of working out when to start your working day and when to start your party. I can see what I've got out of it as a really clear direction to head in for next year. And if I can stick to it, and which I will, because I'm determined to prove people wrong, <laughs> um, I think it'll be really, really awesome for me. It's the end of the year at New Zealand Drama School. The first year actors are welcoming in a whole new intake of auditionees who are hoping to follow in their footsteps. Me and Ron are going to go nuts, like, tops off. And it's bringing back memories of how they felt this time last year. All the year just goes right back to when I was standing on that side. I just remember how amazing Recall Weekend was for me last year. Because I know exactly how I felt last year when I walked through there and I want them to feel that even more, you know what I mean? When you come around the corner and you can't, you can just hear this roar. I, I was just sitting there before going, oh my God. I remember that so clearly. It's good to be not feeling what they're feeling. Toy for a car has always been a dream of mine. One year ago, Ryan auditioned with dreams of being a movie star. I'm not gonna smack you. Mm -hmm. I want to be an actor. Mm -hmm. Can't you see that toy for a car is where I want to be? To begin with, his burning ambition got on his classmates' nerves. <laughs> Ryan was the easiest one. He was the easiest one to hate. <laughs> he just made it so easy. I wanted to throttle Ryan. Yes, yes, Ryan. It was just insanely annoying. <laughs> Like, jumps out and be like, you know, uh, Him and Sophie were just like, couldn't stand one another. <laughs> I can't hate Ryan Richards at all. I was not chilled out. I was definitely not chilled out. But halfway through the year, Ryan learnt to let his emotions out. Don't try and act anything. This room doesn't exist. You don't care. No one had seen that side of Ron, I don't think. Oh, I'm, I certainly hadn't. I've seen that side of Ron, and um, a lot of people sort of started to sit up and take notice. Once I got past that, then I was really able to, to shine. <laughs> He's going to get work because people want Ryan. And at the end of the year, the tutors praised the change in Ryan too. You haven't really gone on a journey yeah. in the last half a year. I, I can only congratulate you on that. It's taken real courage. Happy? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Come so far, you know, and myself, I, I know I have. And um, that just was just confirmation of that, and I was just, it just made me, I'm just really happy right now. It's a big On your voice. There's nothing. Stephen also auditioned with Dreams of Hollywood. For the first time in my life, I felt satisfied today, you know? But after winning a place at drama school, he began to doubt if it was really for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was considering getting up and just walking out, eh? I was that, you know, disappointed a little. Initially he was quite sort of quiet and dorky white boy. And then when he did speak I found him to be quite intellectual. Oh, I'm embarrassed to think about it now. My God. Over the year, he's been pushed to lighten up. <laughs> Change your name to Snorty Snorty Carrot Knackers. <laughs> Hello? My name is Snorty Snorty Crack Smackers. 
<laughs> Even better, I couldn't have come up with crack smackers. Stephen Townsend has utterly transformed. He started off as this sort of button-down computer geek, you know, close-cut hair, clean-shaven face, and now, I mean, my God, he's absolutely gorgeous. He's got this, I don't care, sort of hair. He's, he's a sort of Greek sex god. He's got his clothes off half the time. As the years gone on, he's just gotten more tall and more Greek god. And he's quite a sexy man. Like, you'd walk into a room and just be like, oh, Steve's here, you know? Um, as the year comes to an end, the tutors can see Stephen's becoming an exciting actor. I think it's like this joy is just coming out now. Which is so different to the Stephen who walked in the door. I mean, couldn't be more different. Now I know he is starting to see himself as an actor, not a computer programmer. The most important thing is I feel like I've changed so that I've got, I, know, I can see in myself the raw materials I need to be a great actor. At the beginning of the year, Natalie took a while to fit in. A lot of them said they hated me when they first met me at Recall. The start of the year, I thought Natalie was, was, was a bit of a ditz, you know? She was such a cynical sort of thinker, you know? And she had blonde bleached hair, so she had that Jaffa Auckland look to start off with. Natalie started off as this sort of mousy Princess Di sort of girl, you know, looking up under her fringe and really gorgeous, of course, but um, very locked in, very defensive. Do I have to go to the extent of learning the entire Ma Maori language? I, I don't even understand the greetings. Natalie soon proved she's one of the most talented actors in the class. France, sweet Suffolk. She's going to be hell on wheels. <laughs> and now she's like one of my closest, closest friends. She's got a lot of balls and she's got a lot of courage and I think she's really got what it takes to have a really great career. And Natalie's end of year assessment confirms she's on track for a great career. Because you are a really strong, interesting actor mm. and with everything you do you can get stronger. Mm. So, mm. you know, I think the world is going to open up for you. When you open up. When you open up for it. And everything I've learnt here has been, well, give and take a couple of things, but it's just been so valuable. I was like, goodness, the, the shift, like in a year, how different my life is now. It's real now, that's all. Bryony came to drama school with a knack for comedy. Rich have got his name in. <laughs> I really, really enjoy making people laugh. <laughs> She's just really funny and down to earth and just got a classic sense of humour. There have been real moments when she's, when, she's, when she's let loose this year and that's fantastic. And even when she struggles as well, like she'll, she'll find somewhere to, to laugh. And I'm going to show you all what it's about. But the intensity of the training has gradually exposed her self-doubts. Do you understand what I'm saying? Answer me. Yeah, I do have doubts. I do have doubts. I think it's really easy to get lost in 22 people. She lets herself get run over a little bit. Just doubts, you know, doubts herself as we do. I think Bryony is just starting the journey of realising how much emotion she's got inside her, how much ambition, how much talent, how many hopes, how many fears. And at the end of the year, the tutors challenge Bryony to show what she's really made of. Are you afraid of that? Of how strong and how powerful, how sexy, how fiery, how in your f***ing You are. Yeah. Because you are. I've had, you know, a lot of realisations for myself. I've got a hell of a lot more to give, but I just tore myself back for some reason. And is this realisation with the understanding that you want to stay here or not? Yeah, I do. There's been all this time pulling me apart this year. <laughs> so I am, yeah, I've been pulled apart. So I just need to put him back together. So I suppose I should be back next year, yes. <laughs> at the end of the year at drama school, the students are letting off some steam. It's tradition for the Unco White Boy Award to be presented by the previous winner to the first year who's shown the least physical coordination. And this year, the honour goes to... Oh no, oh no, here we go. It is going to be me. Here we go. And yes, it was. And the last thing I wanted to do was get up and dance. But I did.
Amid the fun, the first years reflect on their big year at Toy Fakari. For Maria, coming here was a major turning point, a chance to put a difficult past behind her. He hit me once, <laughs> but um, that was a different story. Um, this is a huge step for myself. Yeah, it's sort of like creating a new life for myself. Maria has um, proved she's so a natural what, leader. What we'll do is, instead of creating it from that end, come down this end and just build it. But up. she's been forced to confront who she is deep down. Where do you belong? Here. So why do you feel so alone and so isolated and so like you don't really, shouldn't be there? She's got something in, that I don't think anyone else in the class has, and that is she's so grounded, she can just stand there and poof, there's Marty here, you know? She's strong, man. Like, you know, she's one of those people you have around and brings the lightness to the room. At the end of the year, the tutors think Maria can go far if she focuses on what she wants from her career. I'd love to see you think about your future with a lot more certainty and forward thinking and planning and get excited about it. When I let my light shine, it gives permission for other people to do so and join in, and that's, that's what I want to do. Uh, yeah. This year's been Natano's second go at drama school after he got kicked out two years ago. Just as I expected. They don't want me. What are you nuts? Congratulations! Congratulations. Back then. I knew there was a place for me here and I needed to come in because I didn't claim that space when I was here the first time. He was so shy when he came in and so aware that he'd messed up his first opportunity at the school so he was on his best behaviour all the time. This time round, he's been pushed to come out of himself and let his natural charisma shine. I was met with a lot of challenges that saw like a lot of times it and I was grinding my teeth at times, like, you know, shit, what am I doing back here? He was really hungry for it, and he really, he really pushed himself. My mum. He is just going to have a great career. He's so watchable. So beautiful. I think he's just gotten more beautiful. At the end of his first year, the future looks bright for Natano. I think you've got a wider future than to solely work um, in the Samoan field. I think you could do anything you want to do. So where, what are you going to do with that? It was almost them just handing over, like, you know, here. It's up to you, man. It's like, you know, it's out there. Here's, here's the facts. Now he's got his eye firmly fixed on his ambition as a professional actor, and that was the difference that he needed to make. He just needed to see beyond his training to his career. It's kind of up the stakes for me on what I need to do as well. I was nervous posting the application. <laughs> Holly's had her ups and downs since auditioning as an auto electrician from Hawara. If I do not get in, it will break my heart. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> At first, she got a no letter. Seeing that last one to see from the papers, the one that made you cry. <laughs> then, out of the blue, she won a place when someone else dropped out. I'm there, I'm... And they can't get rid of me, unless I'm a slacker. But I'm not gonna be a slacker, I'm gonna work my butt off. But Holly's good intentions didn't last long. No. And what did you do this morning? Oh, I slept in. So don't tell me you came back here knowing if what you want, and then sleep in. Since then, she's thrown herself fully into her training. What a woman! Woo! Oh, to the breaches, my friends. Well, she has a lot more fun when she's acting as well. Oh, she's the girl next door. <laughs> she really is. And at the end of her first year, it's clear Holly's come on a huge journey since the days in her dad's garage. You've got a very beautiful, generous spirit, Holly, and the more you can allow that to live in your work mm -hmm. and in your life, the, you know, we're just gonna love watching you. Really? Nice, yes. Thank you. And um, even though I can't see it, I've been told that I have made progress and that was such a relief. And that was probably my favourite moment of the year. On the last day of the year, the first years put on a show to celebrate the third year's graduation. See the ladies from the International House of Pleasure. These budding stars are already thinking about how they'll feel when they graduate in two years' time. 
<laughs> Can't wait to our graduation, holy shit. It makes you realise that it's just worth hanging in there just for that, you know? <sighs> That'll be us soon. Yeah, I could uh, sort of understand vaguely what they're feeling. Yeah, and it makes me excited as well, and where I'm going to be heading to as well. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. Man, I can't wait till I stand there and go, hold up my certificate and go, I've graduated. <laughs> I'll be here in two years. Got a lot of head, head of us yet. A lot more crying, a lot more um, intense workshops and, you know. They have the talent, they have the hunger, and they have the ability to work with each other to make those dreams that they have come in with a real reality. I've got big dreams, big, big dreams. Oscars, Emmys, the works, you know, that would be, that is the big dream. I want to be successful, I mean, who doesn't? I don't care about the money anymore, <laughs> you know? It's just, I just want to make theatre. I want to play villains at this moment now. I want to be in horrors. I want to travel the world. I'm more hungry now to find people to collaborate with who I really sing with. I just want to move people and allow them to dream for a little bit. That would be the dream. People who didn't normally watch such and such program on television would tune in because I was on it. That would be the greatest thing. They've got talent, they've got ambition, they've got drive, they've got focus, they've got intelligence, they've got beauty. They've got all these things lined up. But who knows where lightning will strike.